I'm I'm Dan Drake. This is Front Up on Geno TV and Channel 99. With us today is Mike Glowacki, our former selectman and CONCOM member and so forth, who is now off in a, a few different directions, which is great. Um, and I invited Mike here with the stipulation that he could talk about anything he wanted to. So. What do you want to talk about, Mike? And it kept me up all night. <laughs> no, <laughs> Open no, forum. No, I'm, that's not what kept you up all night, but we won't go there. <laughs> and I made some notes. And I do appreciate you asking me because I don't know if you remember in another whole time, another session, mm -hmm. but pro we've done this before. We have. And probably 18 months ago, we had a phone conversation that, you know, it wandered off and didn't end to anybody's satisfaction. And I said, well, it was nice knowing you know, Dan I was Drake. Thinking about, you mentioned that I was used some rather strong language during that call. Colorful. Colorful language, and there was a fellow named Wes Tiffany. Did you know Wes? Who was I did. Ryan Mitchell? I did. And somebody called me. I think it was Finn Murphy called me, and said, um, "What do you know about opening the upper end of the harbor?" I said, "I don't know a thing about opening up the other end of the har upper end of the harbor, but I know Wes Tiffany does, and I'll call him and see what he has to say." Well, you want to talk about colorful language. Mm -hmm. He started out with that and never stopped mm -hmm. <laughs> and to indicate what a lousy idea he thought it was. Anyway. So I made some notes. We'll go back. There was something about a bumper sticker, but yeah. forward thinking here. Forward thinking. And so I'll just have to hit my notes. What um, I have done a bunch of stuff in local government. Mm -hmm. And, and uh, the thing that's most important to me right now and what I expect to be bringing forward again is... Uh, the article that I had and some others with me at town meeting last year mm -hmm. on looking at the way that we have our finance committee appointed and uh, changing that potentially or evolving mm -hmm. that from having it appointed by the Board of Selectmen to having it appointed some other way and the way that I proposed last year was by the town moderator. And um, a couple of segues or different ways of in and out of that. I, I guess watching what took place with the island home, mm -hmm. and we could do a whole series of sessions on that and sort of where we are right now, it's, I think, quite disappointing to the majority of the electorate. Uh, and similarly, I think, on our uh, proposals on the sewer mm -hmm. infrastructure and protecting the groundwater through that, and we've hit some roadblocks on that. Um, the Massachusetts Municipal Association advises that the open town meeting form of government works really well for municipalities with populations up to about 5,000 and with budgets up to about 20 million. And they go on and advise beyond that, things start to get more complicated. And so what do, we, what do we do from there? Um, I can't quite let go of my disappointment on the island home. I'm one of those that believes it ought to be rebuilt more or less exactly where it is. And I, and, and I feel that we got, through a lot of good intentions and a lot of good people, kind of a group thing that go in there. And the thing got off. Uh, in a different direction, and I was just listening as you were interviewing Mr. Roman about the advertising in the community newspaper mm -hmm. and how our local newspaper, we no longer have two voices, Dan. Say like air. <laughs> <clears throat> our local newspaper then kind of got on board with there's just a few kooky people that want to rebuild it mm -hmm. where it is, and that I think exacerbated the group think. And so some others got sort of spiraling yeah. on this thing, and it just ain't going to happen. We're not taking the, the vulnerable old people and sticking them out on the sewer bed road. We're just not going to do it. So looking at all like what's going on and how it works and what to do, I thought I, thought I, I would start. I was on the government study committee years and years ago. Ten. What was it? Finished up in 2010, or was that when it was supposed Actually, to come? Actually, it was not again? on that one. I think it was supposed to come back, and I attended that. And I thought they got a little sidetracked on one particular personality and trying to do something about an immediate thing. Right. And it's always hard. We talked quickly yesterday about small town, kind of like high school, right. Right. and how do you 
step back and look ob objectively, um, abstractly at. And so if we look at our town charter, mm -hmm. and if we think about what happened, the town charter was went into into being 20-ish, 25 years somewhere, ago. Somewhere around 1990, yeah. late 80s. Something of a compromise at the time. Before that, you had a very loosey-goosey mm -hmm. board of selectmen do whatever the hell they wanted to mm -hmm. over the tap room. Right. And so how do we start to... And then we start running into this increasing population, bigger budget. Combination of the increasing population, the open meeting law. <laughs> well, the open meeting law, yeah, kind of killed the tap room. Now, that's not necessarily a bad thing, but what, but what happens exactly? Right. But then what happens now is it exacerbates kind of how unwieldy it is. So you have your legislative authority mm -hmm. at town meeting. Land use, two-thirds vote mm -hmm. under zoning. Borrowing money, a two-thirds vote under zoning. Mm -hmm. Two-thirds vote, generally, parliamentarians would say, the overwhelming will of the of the uh, deliberative, the considered will of the deliberative assembly, mm -hmm. overwhelming when you get to two thirds. You have a minority of less than a third, shut up and sit down. Right. Over a third, we get to an impasse like, like we have on mm -hmm. uh, the island home and then the sewers at more the ballot Matic, box. Matic at sewers. So yeah. what's going on and how complex is our government? Population of, we can quibble about the number now, but of course we have to have a structure that serves the summer population as well. Budget. That was well, all together, the budget's well over a hundred million dollars when you put all the pieces together. Well, and then and then the various independent authorities, airport, water commission, mm -hmm. they funnel through town uh, meeting, but they're sort of decided elsewhere. The selectmen have nothing to do with the school budget. The uh, Nantucket Islands Land Bank Commission, which says Nantucket, but is really a state-created commission. Mm -hmm and something that I'm leaving out, sorry, whoever that is, but all of those right. make, make it complicated. And so what I think is going to happen, you mentioned briefly in the earlier segment, you touched on tweeting. And uh, we don't have a tweet problem in Nantucket, but we did have a yak issue some years back right. where it was, uh, I described it as government as a spectator sport <laughs> or government as entertainment. And I think that's what, that's what we react to on the tweeting. Mm -hmm. It's just not that, it's, 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 it's not a lot of one-liners. So the interesting thing, I did a lot of talking to people and I spoke with the moderator and she was not at all excited or enthusiastic when I first talked to her some years ago about this. You might touch base with her now and see, see if she, I, I, she'll speak for herself, but I, she was kind of negative back yeah, then. I Sorry, think Sarah. So. Yeah. Um, but the point was the role of the Board of Selectmen is to propose the warrant and to propose the budget and to do a lot of executive functions, mm -hmm. the hearings on liquor licenses, the mundane nuts and bolts government stuff, uh, hearing the appeals of the HDC, right. and all of that takes up time. And the more complicated it gets, and as you say, with the open meeting law, with a five member board doing the executive function, there's not a lot of time for deep thinking about the future. I know they're making some efforts now, but the deep thinking about getting a plan in place or a, a, a longer range financial plan. Longer range financial plan. All those things get shunted off. Some of those committees, frankly, were formed years ago to get things away from the TV camera. Uh, it, it just, it bogs down. That's not a shot at anybody involved there. It's right. just that the food, it just the doesn't process work. doesn't work. Doesn't work. So You know you're preaching to the choir. Excellent. <laughs> to me. <laughs> Great. We'll see how we go because we, it was, it was some, when I proposed to begin with, I think what happened. No, I don't, I don't mean about the finance committee. I just mean about the overall form of government. Yeah, know, I thought know. I was going to have you with me no, on no, that. No, no. I, I, I do, uh, in this environment, I do have a concern about having any body like that appointed by one person. Excellent. And maybe we'll come to that. We'll run out of time because I'm just getting warm from <laughs> go and go and go. Um, Standing back and taking a look at it, we know we have increasing f frustration with things bogging down mm -hmm. and all the complaints that people have right. about town meeting. We know we love it. We know we want to be able to interact directly with the government. We want to be the government, but we, but we have our issues. My thought, 
is that somebody's going to grab a hold of this and propose we're going to get into a tweet storm and the thing's going to go off in a direction of some kind. If we, if we, the pressure will build up and something will happen or we'll evolve it into something. So that doesn't works state for us. law sort of limit the various forms of government that are available to us? It does. What it does not do is get very deep into what town meeting can and cannot do. Mm -hmm. Traditionally, with the open town meeting, smaller populations, smaller budgets, they deal with the budget, they deal with the land use, they deal with the bylaws. They don't establish, for instance, standing committees. Mm -hmm. Appointed however they're appointed. Right. To create a stable, long-term, we have a capital program committee. I don't know who's on it now. Again, it's not a shot at anybody. It was created to get it yeah. years and years ago to get it out there. And the mechanism, the capital program committee recommends to the finance committee. The finance committee recommends to town meeting. Town meeting does what it wants. It's a little bit... The point that I'm trying to get at is the Board of Selectmen appoint... The Board of Selectmen proposes the budget if you look at the survey of the open town meetings, and I didn't dig out my notes on this, but the number of communities with open town meeting, let's say it's 120, something like that, the number that have the Board of Selectmen appoint the Finance Committee mm -hmm. is something like 10. Really? It isn't done. And those who are, careful how I say this now, those who are in touch with the association of the town moderators will tell you some real horror stories about some things that have happened in some other communities with a board proposing something and appointing the people that are going to recommend to you what should be done about that. In Nantucket, I think, I don't think, I haven't seen a horror story, but I've seen some things that are fairly subtle that, have, that give me pause. Mm -hmm. and, and I think a direction in strengthening town meeting is to be damn sure that town meeting is getting independent review of what's being proposed. Uh, a next step would be independent council. Governments, larger governments, larger city governments, certainly state governments, governor has his council, the legislature have their council. We have what we call town council C-O-U-N-S-E-L, and some people right. confuse that. And we refer to it as town council, and no shot to anybody. I've seen several people in the role now. I've also seen, well, I think very, not so many people realize that the town council is also appointed by the Board of Selectmen. Mm -hmm. And the traditional model for uh, compensation for a town council is a big loss leader on general advice, funnel it through your, not right. anybody pick up the phone right. the way it used to be, but funnel it through and the advice is there. And when we get into real estate matters or litigation matters, the meter flips on. Mm -hmm. It goes where it goes. I have seen committee meetings with representatives from a town council's office saying you cannot do that, you cannot go in that direction. And six weeks later, at a larger forum, saying, you must go in that direction. And I think it's, again, structurally not wise to have the board, that is, to have the legal advisor to the legislative authority being appointed by the board that is proposing the matters to the, to the authority. It just doesn't work. So... My longer range view, I know many people take, maybe we'll go to representative town meeting as an incremental step. I don't see that working. You'll end up with the people that go to town meeting is what you'll get. There. Right. So I think it's a, a bigger look. And I think it is town meeting itself asserting itself to say we're going to get our own advisors. And then maybe... What about the town council form of government? Well, now... We'll come to that in just a second. Okay. We assert ourselves at town meeting. We'll get our own advisors. We'll establish over time some standing committees. Town meeting, all of us, be the government into those committees, take things where we want to go. 
we look to our executive board that is overwhelmed with what's coming over the tra how manager what's coming over the transom of the boat mm -hmm. to deal with every day and we say why don't you guys get ahead of the game and it's just an unrealistic expectation i don't care who they are or if they're all in lockstep and you don't want them in lockstep you want a kind of diverse group town council form cou and cil we give up our right to participate directly right representative town meeting form would look like town meeting town council form i guys would look like a planning board We'd elect people mm -hmm. to stand up for us, and we'd get what we get, and we'd have no more say in what our tax rate is, what projects we're funding. We, away we go. Um, but it also provides flexibility on some financial matters where flexibility is important. Um, I can give you a number of examples, what? but what, one, what, one, what of them is, of? one of them relates to the airport. The airport's fuel budget, you know, fuel expense budget cannot change after town meeting. Ah. Even if the price of fuel goes up. There you go, yeah. But if you have a town council form of government, they can change your budget at their regular monthly meetings. You maybe good, maybe bad, but it, it... If you had a highly efficient town meeting, you could meet more often. We do meet twice a year, we just don't admit it right now. <laughs> So you could meet quarterly. Yeah. Um, the, well, the question there is, that, that's, that's a big one a about big the financial, and that's how we deal with our and enterprise it's also, accounts. It's also the fact that, you know, it takes months, if not a year, to go back to a project, the fire station, yeah. where the difference in cost was not that high. Yeah. But the delays that have taken place there and all the scratching to find money have, have upped the cost dramatically. Yes. And um, so, anyway. I mean, I mean there is this that. This is your show, not well, mine. No, it, it, <laughs> your show, I'm your guest. I'm <laughs> damn glad to be here because I didn't think I'd ever be here again. Um, the, the, so the big question there is whether you want to go to a, something representative or whether we, whether, we want to, whether, we're, whether we need to... Bite the bullet. Whether we need to do that. Right. Or whether we can do some things to to make it to develop a unique structure of government for our unique situation. So I guess uh, the concluding thing, and, and why I think we'll see my proposal again this year, is to my surprise, it's a little bit complicated. It involves amending the charter, and. It gets into technical legalese when mm -hmm. people look at it, ay, 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 and you have to change That's the charter. That's one of the reasons people don't like town meeting is they don't understand half of it. Exactly. So you got a charter and a bylaw. So the article was written by our current town council. Mm -hmm. uh, I went to him with my idea. He said, here's how you do it. And people look at it, oh, now, not surprisingly, it got a negative uh, recommendation from the finance committee. I am hopeful, because I've talked to some of those guys, that there'll be more discussion and something different mm -hmm. will happen this year. I don't claim to have the answer, um, but what I'm encouraged by, that a negative recommendation that when you get, by the time you get to town meeting, you have your two minutes, try to take all this, mm -hmm. how long I've been talking just now, longer than that, people glaze over, somebody stands up to say, yeah, go Eka, you know, it's a solution to a problem we don't have, and there you go again, and somebody else says something else, and it failed, it didn't get hooted out of the room. It had some support, mm -hmm. more than I really expected. Uh, and the point that, that uh, encourages me is then subsequently at the grocery store, people I don't know. I've been thinking about that. That sounds like, you know, mm -hmm. I didn't vote for it, but I, mm -hmm. I would if I didn't do it today. Mm -hmm. Acquaintances, not really great friends, but people that I just know to you know, yak around with, talk around with. Uh, you know, I, I what what you're up to with that thing, but now that I think about it, there's something to be said to that. Right? You don't want the much like the fox and the chicken coop kind of thing. You, there's just some common sense mm -hmm. to that. So, I think when we have our government study committee and we've formed a new one, mm -hmm. not so long ago it was fairly well dominated by a particular view particular viewpoint. I didn't think it was fully representational. Mm -hmm. I don't know so much about the makeup of the new one. I don't think they've met yet. Um, 
and I don't know how they'll approach the whole thing. Maybe they'll, if I'm on the warrant with this thing, maybe it'll, they'll take a look at it. But my idea was really just a, we don't have a mechanism for getting the conversation going except town meeting. Right. And we, so my idea is to, get, is to get it going. Unfortunately, we have to wrap this up. Great time, great. What, great is there a last up. thought you'd like to leave with us? Um, appreciate being here. I want to get back to the bumper sticker someday. Thank and, you, uh, Thank thanks you. Thanks very much.